Greetings and welcome back to the lab. Time for some more unboxing because I just want to stay organized and some stuff has arrived. So the first one we're going to open up should be a few more of the bike lights. Let's just get that out of the way. I ordered in this case two greens and a blue. Let's see what they sent me. There's a green. There's a green. What will it be? Blue. What do you know? Okay, we got these are three doubles. We'll get those out of the way. Then let's grab another package. This should be some LEDs, which I will explain momentarily when I open another package. But I want to see. Ah. I know why it's difficult to open because there's a card inside there. It's the way this particular seller, and I do like the seller, is packaging their stuff. Is they get a couple of cards, index cards, and they tape the LEDs. Now these are surface mount 0805, and they're flashing red LEDs. I could test them, but not right now. I want to move on to some other stuff. I have got three. Let me make sure I don't screw myself up here. Okay. Three packages. <laughs> I'll let you look at the side camera. Um, three packages from the blue brand. And two of these are going to be 3D prints, and one of them is going to be circuit boards, if I'm not mistaken. There's more stuff on the way, but I wanted to check the 3D prints to make sure they are as expected and that they will work before I order up more. So let's see. Is this going to be... Well... This is probably the circuit boards, because it doesn't have a fragile sticker on it. Now let's see. Yep, got circuit boards. I ordered two different circuit boards in the same order, and they are tiny. But these are going to phase two of the retro TV project, the uh, 70s-style console TV. Phase two is actually not... The console, there's my easy open. Uh, phase two, phase one was just a frame, just to kind of prove that I could do a 3D print and stick a circuit board in it. Phase two is a tabletop TV, and this is the circuit board that goes on the back of it. There's going to be LEDs along the top here, and on the back, I'm going to have a 10 position switch. Sorry, let me flip that around. A 10 position switch and a potentiometer for channel and volume. Um, because it's so small that I can't actually put the operating uh, knobs on the front. But those are on the way. This is to fill in another cavity on that 3D print. So that's these. Let me stick these back in here just to keep it semi-organized. And that is also what the LEDs are about. Um, actually, not those LEDs. That's for a slightly different project for more of a phase one uh, version of the project. But let's move on to the 3D prints. That's what this should be. One of these is going to be white, and one of them is going to be black. And these are going to be for... I think I'm learning that now that I need to slice along that side, too. That makes it easier. Yep, we've got the fragile one. Let's see. Can't tell which one this is. This is for the studio lights. Uh, I tested a diffuser in a previous episode, which I'll show you up here, if you're curious. This is the second iteration of that, and this appears to be the white version. Wait a minute. No. This is the black one hidden in white. That's interesting. I think it was the first time 
maybe that they've wrapped it something like this. Apologies if you don't like the crinkling sounds. Let me get rid of some of this. So that is, let me get rid of that too. Um, a spacer, I guess, is the best way I could put it. In black with some holes in it. Like you can see here, I've got four on the corners, so to speak. 108, 180 from each other, 180 from each other, 90 from each other. Hopefully that makes some sense. This is going to be coupled with the other one. So let's see. I put that aside. And this time we'll try opening two sides. All right. This should be the white one, the one that you've seen before, but with a correction. It's the snowman, so to speak. There it is. And if I've done this right, they should fit right on top of each other. And I should be able to fit... Let's see if I can grab another one of my... Yep. That is the right sort of design. That should fit just... There should just be a slight ledge so that I can actually put a standoff in the holes here, going down to the holes here, and then ultimately going through to the holes here, which I have now shrunk. That was my problem. The difference between radius of three and diameter of three. Uh, for you mathematicians or, or geometry buffs, that should make some sense. Uh, it was just that kind of mistake. But this should all go together nicely. I'm going to try and put this together, and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay. I put it all together. I ended up using three pieces of hardware. I've got some bolts that happen to be white nylon. In between, I have some standoffs, uh, spacers, whatever you want to call them, that have basically a thread on one end and... Uh, a threaded hole on one end and the post on the other end sticking up and going to the individual uh, holes here, which I then put two of the four nuts on because I'm going to end up taking this apart. This is not the final, final product because those are currently on up above and I'll have to put them all together separately, maybe not on video, but I wanted to see, once I plug it in, we can see together what it's going to look like. So this is my RGB version of that studio light. It's the double circle that I used in the last one. So let's see what that looks like when it's plugged in. And there we've got some kind of hot spots, but all very, very evenly done. And I am quite happy with what I'm looking at here. Because if these were all... Um, white, uh, cold white or warm white, it would be providing some light. In fact, actually, let's turn off some studio lights. And now you can see this glowing as it does. And I can hover it above as if it was an actual studio light. The only thing left is, let me go turn off one more light. Okay. That should give you a better idea. And while it's kind of white, we'll hang it up above so you can kind of see what, uh, well, I don't know if that's actually blocking the camera. So hopefully you can see how that all looks. And that is it for this particular unbag and quick build. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to order some more of this stuff so I can build the remaining lights and put them on the actual studio lights up above so it'll look a lot nicer than the janky mess that I have. Thank you so much for watching.